To begin, import the koi fish alembic. Change the play type to real time in order to see how the fish will move. Bring in the texture and normal maps and adjust settings for metalness, reflection intensity, and roughness. Begin building the fins. Place the fins in the 3D window near to where they should be on the fish body. Right-click in the 3D window and select Simulation Properties. Turn off ground collision and decrease gravity from minus 9800 to 400. Increase the air damping to 2500. Select the fish avatar and change the skin offset from its default of 3 to 0.1 millimeters. Using pins, select the edge where the fin is meant to attach to the fish avatar. Double-clicking on the edge results in the entire edge being selected. Select the edge for each fin. Display the win by clicking on the Display drop-down menu and selecting Environment and then Show Wind Controller. Select the wind controller and set the type from planar to spherical. Increase strength of wind to 200 and turbulence to 70. Select all fins and strengthen. Under the 3D garment drop-down, select attach all pins to avatar. Simulate to make fins stick to body. Layer clone over all fins. Select all fin pieces with normals facing the wrong way and right-click and flip normals. Select all fins and set pressure to 8. Record the simulation. Build the whiskers of the fish, and as with the fins, layer clone over. Use a pin to keep whiskers from flying away. Flip normals on wrong facing pieces. Delete sewing, and then re-sew, making sure to leave base part of whisker unsewn. Strengthen whisker patterns and simulate. Once whiskers are stable, position them on fish face. Delete the pin from earlier and double click on the edge where whisker attaches to fish. Under the 3D garment drop down, select attach all pins to avatar. Save your work. Import the koi fish family alembic. Under file drop down menu, select add project. Add the fins project without the avatar. Make sure to detach pins from avatar. Position the fins on the first fish. Copy and paste fins onto the other fish. You will need to resize the fins for the smaller fish. Once you have attached the fins to the fish, record the animation.
When happy with the results, export an alembic including the fish's avatar. Build the seaweed stalk and a round pattern piece for the base. Set pressure on the base to minus 70 and freeze the seaweed stalk pattern. Simulate and the base will stick to the ground. Freeze the base and unfreeze the stalk pattern. Sew the bottom of the stalk to the base and the sides of the stalk. Set the simulation properties to zero gravity and air damping to 2000. Build seaweed fronds and sew one long side to a short internal line. This will create a frond with a rippled look. Freeze the stock and simulate. Continue building fronds to finish seaweed. Copy and paste to create multiple seaweeds. Import the alembic of the fish family with the simulated fins. Check to make sure the fish will be swimming through the seaweed. Record the simulation. Once you are happy with the results, export the Alembic and render in your favorite 3D package.